I picked up this inexpensive Harbor Freight uh, pickup truck crane. Cost about eighty dollars after shipping. Um, claims to be able to lift about a thousand pounds. I don't expect to be lifting anything near that weight, so I felt comfortable purchasing it. It uh, model sixteen forty seven from uh, Harbor Freight. It's hand operated with this guy here. It's got a short chain with a hook on it, and. Um, I want to make a make it removable for my truck here, so I have some scrap metal that I'm going to be working with. Is I'm going to make a platform out of this scrap of I beam here. This is the base of the crane. This is what bolts down to the bed of your pickup truck if you follow their instructions. Um, they say to mount it to the frame so that it won't flex but their pictures show it mounted just to the surface of the bed they, they include these two pieces of angle iron which they say to put on the bottom side to bolt through to it to help reinforce it I'm not going to be using those because this is a little bit different situation so what I've done is I've got this I-beam which is going to be my platform and I fit this onto it and drew a line where I'm going to be cutting it and I'm considering mounting this guy underneath like that or something of that manner. This is the truck crane. I've installed it. Uh, what I've done is I used some scrap iron to build a mount. It's got a receiver hitch here that's reinforced under the truck. And then this slides into it and welded onto it is this piece of an I-beam. It's half an inch thick. Um, very rugged. And the crane bolts to that with five bolts and I also installed this little cheap hand operated winch um, because my intent on using this is to lift logs probably four foot logs up onto the truck and the winch should make it easier to drag those closer to the truck rather than doing it by hand which is what I've been doing up until now so it's all set up and seems to work pretty good. I did a test run with some stuff. It's got different settings depending on the how much you want to lift. They claim up to a thousand pounds or 500 pounds if you've got it extended all the way. I kind of question that but I don't think what I'm lifting is going to be nearly that heavy so I'm not worried about it. Um, it seems to work pretty good. It is does take a little while to pump it by hand. It takes about 60 pumps to get it fully raised. Its lift is a little over four feet. Actually, I think I had measured it and it was a little over 50 inches. When it, it swivels all the way around, when you lift like from this direction you're okay but if I've got got it swiveled out to the other side over here when you lift a load the whole truck wants to kind of tip on its suspension not tip but just kind of lean over so I've what I've done is a, for a simple resolution to that is I've just cut a piece of 2 by 6 that I can wedge under the truck like that to help give the bed a little um, more reinforcement or you know so the weight isn't on the suspension and that seems to work fine and then if I get a heavy load on it um, I should be able to use a hammer or something to kick this out from underneath to take the load off of it 
didn't want to get real fancy with that. I think that that should work fine for me. This is my Harbor Freight truck crane that I mounted on the back of the truck here. And I'm going to try to do a quick demonstration.